Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion guys and today we're going to be installing and painting mud flaps for my Mercedes C63. So guys definitely check out this video if you do have a Mercedes and I noticed that these cars never come with guess what mud flaps. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion guys. Good morning, good afternoon and good night. Thank you. So welcome back, welcome back everybody. So I want to briefly uh, talk to you guys about why these cars don't come with freaking mud flaps. For some specific reason, Mercedes decides not to put mud flaps on these cars. But here's the biggest problem that happens. I washed the car so a lot of the dirt is already gone. But look where that wheel is and that rear bumper is. So all that dirt and stuff just gets all right here and dirty and filthy and it gets pretty filthy. Same thing for this one right here. Same thing for here. So I went with these mud flaps. Uh, I went with these mud flaps for the car. And I'm gonna also paint them with some just regular paint. Um, let me just walk over to it right now. Let me show you guys. I like to do everything on video. So I ordered these mud flaps. They're like $30, $40 off of uh, eBay, Amazon. And they fit quite well. All right, let me show you guys. They fit quite well. Um, it's not all the way pushed in. Like there's little grips and stuff right here. You see that little grip right there? So it can actually clip in and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So I'm pretty much gonna paint these really quick. Uh, maybe two or three layers of, uh, of uh, black gloss paint. And then we're gonna see if we can get them installed on the car today. Hopefully you have enough time. It's a beautiful day out here. Also, if you're new to the channel, um, I am owner of a Mercedes C63. This is also, you know, the same body style of the regular C300s, but also have an Infiniti Q60 right there. So you guys are gonna see different type of content, kinda, but I'm more sport oriented, but there's little things that I wanna change on this car to make it, you know, OEM plus. All right, everybody, so these are the mud flaps and they pretty much come unprimed. I'm gonna use Rustonium uh, Black regular spray paint nothing too crazy uh, gotta put them in an area so these leaves don't fall on it but yeah pretty much give them two or three coats uh, maybe three yeah about three coats and uh, we're gonna see how it how it turns out so let's get started all right first layer is on I'm gonna give that about five minutes to dry in the Sun and five ten minutes and I'm gonna come back with a second layer all right I uh, waited about ten minutes now I'm applying the second layer all right, so to install the front mud flaps, you see these two little clips over here? You gotta be able to pull these and pop these little plugs out. Once you pop those plugs out, that allows you to take the screws that they provide in the kit um, to, to screw it right into those areas, all right? So anyway, to get a flathead to pop that out, maybe some pliers or whatever, and then we're gonna see if we can start installing these uh, mud flaps. Let me see about the back ones back ones look about the same there's a plug right here let me see if i can get the camera to adjust for it, it doesn't really want to adjust for it there you go it's a plug here um there's a plug right there and then i think i'm gonna have to screw it from under too so we'll figure it out we'll get it done but anyways uh, let's go all right this is super easy to install there's a little clip right here that uh slides behind the fender <coughs> and, he and you took out those two little holes on from those uh, plugs there and you're going to take two of the screws uh included and you're just going to drill right in that's it super easy super simple um finish this off and then we're going to go to the back all right see it now this one is in there's also a plug to the bottom uh, yeah i'm probably not going to do that one yeah you know i'm gonna do things half ass i'm being straight up and honest with y'all i'm not gonna go on the floor and really kill myself because this is pretty secure this is this this is this is it's gonna be like this that's just you really can't do nothing about this because even if you secure the bottom it is what it is um you could probably still also take one of these regular screws which i'm probably gonna just do it for you guys and just drill a screw right into here because you're only drilling into the splash guard this is all this is is just a splash guard right here you could screw, screw it in any one of these par parts and that will secure it see that's what i did uh hopefully there's no harness or anything <laughs> 
back here. I doubt there's gonna put a harness right here. That would be really stupid because a lot of water and stuff will collect down here. But this is it. So this isn't gonna go anywhere. Now I'm gonna move on to the rear. I'm not gonna show all four. I'm only gonna show the driver's side and the, the driver rear side. That's it. Everything else you guys can do on your own. So let's move forward to the, the back one. All right, so once again, I'm um, doing it on this side now. I'm not gonna lie, these are so annoying. These plugs are very annoying to remove. They're not the easiest to deal with. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I already broke the one down here. And once again, I'm not installing that bottom one. If you guys wanna go that far, you can go ahead. But these little things, when they come out, they break and usually you wanna replace them at the same time. So, but this one I didn't break. So I'm gonna use the plug that already came in it. And this one, I'm probably just gonna drill a screw right through it because uh, I broke the head, so it is what it is. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. If not, I'm gonna continue to secure it other ways, probably drill down or drill across, and see what I, or drill right here, so I can be able to get, catch some of this felt material. But anyways, um, this pretty much, almost com pretty much concludes it. After this, I'm gonna do the next two, the next uh, passenger side, and I'm gonna show you the final results. Also, in this same video, I'm installing spacers on my, um, my C63, so definitely check out that link above or just check my channel for it on how to install spaces on your C63. But anyways, uh, let me continue, and here is how the car looks. All right, guys, I wanna show you guys the mud flaps. So, ready? One, two, three. Now the mud flaps are on the car. The crazy part is the mud flaps don't even stand out as much as I thought they were. Because I've seen them, I've seen it unpainted, and it just didn't look right. So I painted them with the gloss black and I think it really did add to the look of the car. Take a look. They don't stand out too much. It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look like it's out of place or anything like that. I do like it. The fitment is really good. I really do recommend it and they're not too hard to install. Also, if you look also if you're new to this video or new to my channel, I also installed spacers at the same time on my 18 inch wheels. So definitely check out that video either up there or on my uh, channel too. I installed some um, spacers, about 15 millimeter spacers, so it could be a little bit more flush. Want to give it that nice look. But outside of that, guys, if you did enjoy that install, I didn't make it any crazy, or I didn't do all the extra nonsense to try to make it fit. I, you know, I, I Jimmy rigged it on there, man. This is what happens when a JDM guy gets a, a German car, man. So once again, I appreciate you guys so much. Always hit the like button, subscribe button with the bell notification. And if you guys want to contact me, contact me at Boost Emotion on IG, Facebook, and Boost Emotion on gmail.com. Thank you guys. I appreciate your time so much. You have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.